Welcome everybody. Welcome Troop 800 to our Girl Scout meeting. Um, today, since you guys are ju juniors now, we haven't had the ceremony yet, but you're not brownies anymore. You're juniors now. We're going to start on our first junior journey. It's called a muse. And it's all about the different roles that girls and women have in life. Some that you already are, some that you will be in your family or at school. And the kind of roles that you'll be as you get older that you might not even think about yet. Like maybe you'll be a pilot, that will be your role. Or maybe you'll be a mom, or maybe you'll be a teacher, or maybe you'll be a best friend. Things that you are now, you can still be then when you're older, but you may also be lots of things that you never even imagined you could be. So think about what are you right now? Think about the roles that you have right now. Can anybody tell me a role they have right now? Annabelle? A best friend. A best friend. What do you? A, a Girl Scout. A Girl Scout. That's a great one. Lola? A Girl Scout. A Girl Scout. Are any of you sisters? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah? Oh, wait, we're all sisters. You have a, a brother. You're a sister. Um, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, are any of you a daughter? Yeah. All of them. Are any of you a niece? Do you have an aunt, an aunt or an yeah. uncle? Yeah. 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 Are any of you an aunt or an uncle? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, no. Maybe when you get older. Maybe. Think about all the roles you play in your family and think about ones that you might want to play when you're older. What do you think are some roles that you might want to be when you get older? Lainey? A mom. A mom? What do you think? A scientist. What do you think? A what? A judge. A judge. Ooh, that's a really good one, Lola. What do you think, Lainey? A zoologist. A zoologist. That's a clever one. I want to work for America's Got Talent. You want to work for America's Got Talent? Do you want to host the TV show? Yeah. Okay, cool. Tell me one. What do you think? A mom. A mom? What about a grandma? Oh, uh -huh. eventually. Maybe. An aunt? I, I probably will eventually. A great grandma? Yes. Yeah. No, you don't want to be a great grandma? <laughs> oh, wait. Baby. I won't be on. an aunt. All right. No, you won't be an aunt. But I kind of do, oh, well. though, that they will probably tell the truth. They might. So, to, with the journey that, with the parts of the journey that we learned today, as well as what we learn in the fall when we go back um, and do more meetings, I want you to keep thinking about all the different roles you see in your life, all the different roles you have, and <clears throat> all the different roles you think you might want. And we're going to kind of track that as we go through the journey and maybe some stuff will come up that you never thought of before or maybe you'll really decide what it is you want to do and maybe not because you're only like nine years old and lots of things will change between now and then so for our first activity i'm going to let you guys pick up some roles that you have and some roles that you might want to have and also some roles that you think some of the other girls have or might want to have as they get older. So over here on this wall, there's a bunch of different roles. It's all kinds of things. It's pilot, a dancer, a photographer, a lawyer, a doctor, a mom, a sister, a friend, a Girl Scout. All of those are on the wall. So when I say go, I want you to um, go over and grab three for yourself that you either are right now or you think you might want to be in the future. Grab at least one that you think you want to be in the future. And then grab three that you're going to stick on someone else. Don't stick all of them on the same person. So Annabelle, don't stick all of them on Lainey. <laughs> stick them on other people. And then when we're finished, I want you guys to talk about why you chose that role for that person, okay? Or why you chose the role you chose for yourselves. Deal? Okay, so stand up. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes. Hang on. Ready? What? There's multiples. Oh, oh. Go. Three for you, three for other people. Three, um, <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, you, you got about another minute left, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, um, <laughs> um, here. <laughs> no, I think you think of me. I don't know. Everybody should have at least one from someone else. We're going to go over it in a minute, okay? What does this say? I also have no idea what other people want. What does Ooh. this say on my heart? Right? Think about what you think no. would <laughs> they'd be good at, Laney. Okay. I don't want to. <laughs> look, look, look what I gave Laney. be a boss of somebody? <laughs> I like it. What did other people pick for you? A teacher and a writer. Okay, who picked teacher for Harper? Why do you think she wants to be a teacher? Um, or why do you think she'd be a good teacher? Because I think she would be a good teacher. Because you think she would make a good teacher? Yeah. Does anybody remember who gave writer to Harper? Why do you think she'd make a good writer? What'd you pick for yourself? Um, artist, veterinarian, and leader. Oh, so which one of those are you right now? I'm an artist and a leader. You're an artist and a leader, and you want to grow up to be a veterinarian? Very cool. So, who put adult on Lola? <laughs> I couldn't find it. That's a good one. It's a good one. We all have to grow up to be adults, right? We all want to grow up to be adults. I seriously couldn't find anything. If you're not an adult, you can't drive a car. <laughs> if you're not an adult, you can't pay bills. I don't want to pay bills. <laughs> you can't live in your own house. And who picked Baker for Lola? Yeah? Why do you think she would make a good baker? I took my because, I don't know. You think she'd just be good at it? Okay. I'm terrible. I burnt myself on purpose. Well, maybe this is the start of something. Maybe this can be a role you never thought of, and you can start thinking about how you can be a better baker. And who picked doctor? Did you pick doctor for Lola? So the video? No. No. Okay. Well, doctor apparently liked you so much it just jumped straight on your shirt. Here. Should okay. I go put a back? No, that's fine. So Stella, what did you pick for yourself? Um, friend, Girl Scout, and Scientist. Friend, Girl Scout, and Scientist. So you are a scientist right now and you want to be a Girl Scout? Or? No, I'm a Girl Scout right now and I'm a friend and I want to be a scientist. Okay. Did anyone pick things for Stella? Yes, I, I hid them. What did you get? Um, president. President? Maybe you'd be like the president of a science company? Yeah. The president isn't necessarily the president, the president of the United States. I can't see why someone would say Stella would read it. She could. 
All right. Yes. I Very that. cool. Um, what else? Architect. Architect. Yeah, Does anybody know who picked that? That might have been I did. I don't know why. You did? I can't oh, okay. Then that would be why do you think it, she made a good ar architect? Because, um, yeah. What do I you need to be a good architect? Like, I see, like, when we go upstairs, I saw how she had everything in the Barbie house laid exactly perfectly out. And I feel like <laughs> you would do a good job of, like, making things, like, just the way people wanted them. Mm, okay. So, all right, Lainey, what did you get for yours? A dancer? I did um, not. I definitely did not. I gave myself a kid. That one's Mom, really awesome. and Student, so that's a good role. Okay. Let's just pretend you have that one. And then um, I, for someone that people gave me, I got an athlete. An athlete? That would oh, be. Oh, wait, no. Anna gave me a student. I had a Girl Scout posted, though. I don't know where it went. Okay. Well, <laughs> is athlete the only one you got? Um, I gave her a student. I got an athlete. Okay. Then, so you're an athlete right now, right? So as you get older, that might be something you continue to do. Maybe you'll get famous from being an athlete. Oh, maybe. Maybe you'll go to the Olympics. Like maybe you'll go to the Olympics. Maybe you'll play professional basketball. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. You don't know. You're nine. Anything can happen. Anything's possible. So, Emma, what'd you get? I, I, I stuck one on her. Um, what'd you stick on her? Yeah, I so, stuck one on her shoulder. Yeah, I stuck one on her shoulder. I got friend. Okay. I got friend. Um, and movie star. And wife. I got, um, and then the ones that people gave me. They gave me princess and TV star. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, you'll play a princess on TV. Maybe. Maybe. That'd be a cool job. Yeah, that would You'd get to dress up all the time. Yeah. I gave her TV. <laughs> you gave her TV, TV star? star and princess. All right. <laughs> so, here's the ones I picked you for myself. Me. Okay. I'm a daughter. Oh, yeah. I'm a mom. My mom. And I'm a student. You are? I am. Yeah, for a job. So, for this... I thought Stella would make a good chef. Oh, yes, Stella. I thought Lainey would make a good CEO. What's that? It's like the president of a company. Oh, okay. My dad. I thought Annabelle would make a good engineer. <laughs> if you're going to be a judge, you got to be a lawyer. And I can see you being a pilot. What's that? The person that flies planes. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Go on vacation <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Like, All right. every day. So, next, <clears throat> I'm going to show you some pictures of women you might know. Okay. Women that are famous or have been famous hmm. who've played roles you wouldn't expect women to play. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, I think I know what you mean. And shout it out if you know who they are or what role it is they play. And then at the end, we're going to watch a video about a girl not much older than you guys who's become famous and done something no one else has ever done in a role that nobody ever expected. Okay? Oh, here's the Girl Scouts. So, does anybody know who this is? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. She's going to at the races. Uh, oh! NASCAR driver. Mm -hmm. So, this is Danica Patrick. Oh, okay. She is a race car driver. She drove in the Indy 500. She drives NASCAR, mm -hmm. um, which is a very not traditional role for girls, right? Most race car drivers are boys. Most of them. Most of them. Does anybody know who this is? Um, she's super duper familiar. Well, what does her picture kind of lead you to think she might be? An astronaut. She is an astronaut. Her name is Mae Jemison. Mm. She's... 
She is not just any astronaut. She is the first African-American woman in, in space. space. Right. Very good. <clears throat> Who is this? this? <gasps> Annabelle. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. So, does anybody know what Oprah is famous for? No. Talk shows? She was a talk show host. Do you know? No. She's not just a talk show host, though. She also owns her own company, oh. runs her own magazine, and owns her own television network. She's also one of the most, she's one of the richest people in the world. Not just women, one of the richest people in the world. But she's like the nicest. Does anyone know who this is? Lainey? Yeah, she's the lady that we have. What did you say? I think her name can't the thing. I don't know if she's a. This is Amelia Earhart. Yes, I was oh. gonna say that. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> she was. Does anyone know what Amelia Earhart is famous for, or what her role was? Lola. She was the first one to fly an airplane, or whatever. She wasn't necessarily the first one to fly an airplane, but. Oh. Um, she was the first woman to break some of. The men's records in the airplane? Um, she may have broken a few records, but one of the things that she's the most famous for, she's a pilot, and she was the first woman to fly by herself across the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. and then they, she, she attempted to fly around the world? She, she attempted she, to fly around the world. But she disappeared. But she disappeared. I think I, I just based on, I think I might know where she might have fallen. Around the world. Does anyone know who this exactly. is? Um, no. I didn't expect you guys familiar. to know who this is. Just like so she's a politician. Oh. Okay. That's why she Her name like is Madeline Albright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and she was the very first female Secretary of State. Does anyone know what the Secretary of State uh, is? Kind of. It's I know it. Secretary of the President. Hillary Not necessarily. So the Secretary of State is someone that travels around the world and works with other countries. Um, it's kind of like the third or fourth in line to the presidency. It's part of the president's like cabinet, part of his group of people that makes decisions. Lainey? Hillary Clinton was a Secretary of State. Yes, Hillary Clinton was a Secretary of State. She was not the only woman Secretary of State though. There was Madeleine Albright, there was Hillary Clinton, there was Condoleezza Rice. Those three women were all Secretary of State. Does anyone know who this is? Um, she was in the news recently for the famous thing that she's, for the thing that she's famous for. I know who she is, but I don't know her name. So her name is Katie Bauman. Oh, Do you know what she did? She was like a computer scientist? She's like a computer scientist, mathematician, she she helped to write an algorithm. She created an algorithm that helped people obtain the very first picture of a black hole. Oh yeah. What's the black hole? A black hole is a, like a hole. Yeah, oh, I know who that, that is. Special gymnast and she's special. I know who That's that is. I've been watching the She's a gymnast. I don't know her name though, but I know I her. know exactly. She is a gymnast. What's her name? Uh, I don't know her last name. She is it? She like Gabby somebody? It's she Gabby was, Douglas. She's oh. famous on the like. She's a famous gymnast. Oh. She's famous. She on was the in the Olympics. Olympics. Oh. So she's very famous. Um, she is the first American gymnast to win the gold in both the solo competition and the group competition. Not the first female, but the first Olympics. overall to win the gold. Does anyone know who this is? No. She's been dead a long time, but she's really famous and really important. Does Marie Curie? That is Marie Curie. So Marie Curie was a what? Scientist. scientist. A scientist. She oh, yeah. pioneered the study of radioactivity and radiology. Yes, ma'am. She died from radio. She did. She died from radiation poisoning because they didn't understand how to properly protect themselves from radiation when she was studying it. Then she studied with the, I forgot his name, but he studied with him. It was his, it was her husband. And yeah, they and were he married. was so weak that he got radiation. Oh, I didn't know that. See? By a 
dragon and it crushed his skull. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. And he wow. wow. Cringy. All right. I don't expect you guys to know who this is. Uh, she looks familiar, but I don't know her too. So All her name is Indra Noy. Okay. She's an Indian American woman. Okay. Um, she is a businesswoman and a CEO. She held the position of CEO, and what do we say CEO is? Um, the president of a company. The president of a company. She was the CEO for 13 years of Pepsi. Yeah. yeah. She oh, just stepped down last year. Because she was like the world. She was. She humble. ran one of the world's largest companies, right? Yeah, she ran one of the world's most well-known, like the second most well-known Coca-Cola, probably first. But Pepsi is like the second most known thing in the world. If Coda. Yeah. All right. Does anyone know who this is? No. no. Do you know who, who you think it is? Is that, oh, Marilyn Monroe? It is not Marilyn Monroe. What do you think her job would be just based on her picture? Yeah. Fashion? Close. She was pretty fashionable. She was a movie star. Her name is Rita Moreno. Oh. Have you guys ever seen the Netflix show One Life at a Time or One Day at a Time, something like that? Yes. It's like yeah. a, uh -huh. about a family. Kind of so terrible. she's in that TV show. She is the first Latina. Does anyone know what a, a Latina is? Lola's a Latina. It's any one of Hispanic. Uh, it's a female of Hispanic descent. And Lola, you are of Hispanic descent, are you not? I'm not. I'm not sure what I am. <laughs> so her name is Rita Moreno. She was the first Latina to win the EGOT. Does anyone know what the EGOT is? Mm -mm. The EGOT is when you win an Emmy, Ooh. a Grammy, Ooh. an Oscar, Ooh. and a Tony. What? She wow. won all four? There's like... I think in the world there are less people than I have fingers that have won an EGOT. Seriously? Yes. And she's the first Latina. Have you ever seen the movie? I think she was in the movie West Side Story. I have she no idea. Older. It's a really old movie. She looks like an old, like a old. This one's movie. one of my favorites. Does anyone know who this is? No. Who do you think it is, Annabelle? Is that Hillary Clinton? That is not Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Why are you yeah, born? So, what are these colors right here? Oh, it's yellow. yellow. Oh, 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 white and white. Not yellow. Volunteer. I know it looks yellow. Volunteers me. coach. She was the coach of the Lady Balls basketball team. Her name is Pat Summit. She was born and raised in Tennessee. She lived her whole life in Tennessee. I have to. She won her very first basketball game. Um, as the coach of the Lady Balls against MTSU. How dare. She is <laughs> one of the winningest basketball coaches in history. Men, women, everyone. At one point, she was the winningest <laughs> basketball coach in history. The most winning? Yes, she won over 1,000 games as a basketball coach. 1,000? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. She won eight. Wow national titles with her team. Eight? With the Gee. University of Tennessee. Gee, yep. you lady. Does anybody know who that is? Um, Thea Fresca. She looks a little familiar, but I don't know. She probably does. does. She looks familiar. Her name is J.K. Rowling. Oh! <laughs> I have no idea who she is. I said that's why there was those weird horn muffin legs. Yeah, she's probably in an event, something for Harry Potter. She, she so she wait. turned those books into a billion dollar business. Wait, wait, she she is also one of the richest people in the world. Um, yes, ma'am. They changed the Sorcerer's Stone's name they in did. America. They did. It in the England, it's called the Philosopher's Stone, Philosopher Stone yes. Yes, ma'am. Wasn't she like very poor at first and then 
Yes, she was. She okay. was very poor, and she really didn't know if she was going to make it as a writer. And then the, she, she wrote the Harry Potter book, and it was a worldwide success. Yes, ma'am. She came up with the idea on a bus, but she didn't have a pen, so she had to keep um, writing it all down. She had even more by the time she got home. That's amazing. And so it's not just the books anymore, right? It's the books, it's the movies, it's the other books, it's the other movies. The accessories. The accessories. She's got the Pottermore thing. And now Harry Potter World. They have an World. they have Harry, Harry Potter. Potter World. They have an app on your phone where you can catch Wizards stuff. Unite. Like the Pokemon Go. Alright. So this is the video we're gonna watch. Say video. Let me know if you know who this is. Pitch, different guys decided to come out, and they were all just like saying that I wasn't going to be good. It was like telling jokes that were too new for my parents to laugh at. But then when they saw me chase the first batter, they were all shocked and ridiculously really scared of thinking that side of the field. of this girl picture don't get too cocky or anything women can do anything that a man can do so go women my mom was very hesitant about it because it was like sports and like her daughter she doesn't want her daughter to be playing sports but then somehow we convinced her to change her mind and now she goes watch me play one time, my mom was like, here's the phone someone wants to talk to. So I answered, and he's like, hi, Renee, this is Kobe Bryant. And I was like, uh, hi. And he was saying, like, how inspiring it was to watch me and how cool it was. I was pitching against the guys. And I was just sitting there smiling and didn't have any words. After all of this, I learned how to have more fun while playing sports. Not just for myself, but for everyone else. When people would come up to me saying that I inspired them, it just kind of made me want to become a better player and a better person. Yes, I do know her, but I just don't know the name, but she was the first, like, woman to play this. Right, so her name is Monet Davis. She is not that much older than you guys. I'm not even sure if she's technically an adult yet. And she was the first girl to pitch a shutout and win a game in the Little League World Series. Does anybody know what that is? Does anybody know what the World Series is? Oh, yes. What is the World Series? The World Series is the, like, biggest baseball, baseball game in, like, history of baseball. So the World Series is the championship of baseball in, in the America. World. In America. Okay. Yeah, um, call it the World and Series. they have a similar thing for kids called the Little League World Series. They have a, ser a, <laughs> a league of baseball around the country called Little League. I'm sure <laughs> if your brother is still playing it, they know about it. Um, and they have a World Series every year in Pennsylvania. Um, and she was the first woman to the first girl to win a game in the Little League World Series. So, was there anybody else in that PowerPoint that you saw that played a role that you didn't expect? Her mom. You don't have to remember her name, just like the role that they played or what they did. Her mom. Her mom? It kind of surprised me that she didn't want her daughter to play sports a little bit. It was a role that didn't really make me like it. I feel like that most of the moms I know, if their daughters, if they play something, I want, they, they want to cheer for them and be happy for them. It just surprised me that her mom didn't want her to do that. 
well, maybe that wasn't what her mom expected her to do. And it wasn't until she started doing it that she realized how good she was at it. And that maybe she taught her mom something. Have your moms ever said, you know what, you taught me something. Because yeah. I didn't know that. Right? Yeah. Just because we're moms doesn't mean that we can't teach you can't teach us things. We don't know everything, even though I try to tell Stella I know everything. <laughs> okay, so for the next activity, we're gonna play charades. Yay! <laughs> this game of charades <laughs> is gonna have you act out a role that Ooh, yeah. girls and women can play, that you may or may not think girls and women can play. You can talk. You just can't say what the role is. You can't say any of the words. I'm gonna make it a little easier on you because some of these are not easy to act out without words. So, who wants to go first? Lola, you can come, come up. So, you'll get 30 seconds to act it out and we'll get a minute to guess it, okay? So, take a look. Let me see what it is so I know. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, you can go 
singer in a band? Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A lead singer. Yeah, a lead singer, yes. on the board while we wait for our What board. about... Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, I know that one. Does anybody know what that is? Uh, it's on Netflix. I TV Netflix. show. She's just like a superhero. Warrior princess. Oh! Person. What about... She's from DC Superhero Girls? No. No. But that is a good point. Super girl. Oh. Luna. Luna Love Team. Luna Love Good's a good one. Batgirl. Batgirl's a good one. Yeah, Batgirl. What else can you guys think of? Um. Um, Raina Telemare. Who's that? From the 
Smile and Sisters. Oh, they're yeah. like comic books. Yeah, she's, she's the person who wrote it and does the graphic novel. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's yeah, she's from. Uh, she wrote. She writes those books, and in the Smile books, um, in the comic books that she wrote, the very first one, um, she, her, the char one of the characters is Brandon Okay, so is it R E Y N A? Uh, R A I. It's R A I N A. R A I N A. I got one. Okay, yes, ma'am. Ray from Star Wars. Ray Very from Star job. Wars. I know. I line. know Harper knew, knew Star Wars, so I said somebody from Star Wars because I know she. I know she knows those oh, movies I very well. Star Is there any other female character in Star Wars you guys love? Um, yes! Princess Leia. Princess Leia. Uh, yes, I was her for Halloween and I was right for Halloween. Padme? Yeah! There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Her mom. Anybody else? Her mom was like her sister. Oh, there's also a role. Princess Leia. Mom, I have no idea who it is. Padme? Yeah. yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what her name is. Just like Padme. Leia's mom. Padme Armadala. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. of a character that you want to play oh, on TV or in a book Ooh. or a character that you I want to write a story about. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you want to be, but maybe someone that you think would be cool to read about. Not something that we have on the board or something you already know, but something completely unique. I want you to come up with something on your own. Oh, wait. Like a whole new thing? Yeah. to use your brain? A new oh, one. Oh, man. Yay. Okay. okay. So come over here. Yeah. Ooh, I have one. Right. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys like five to six minutes to come up with, oh, come up with a picture of it. I have no idea. Here's how, the markers. I to draw the Wait, could it be like... I I don't don't really well, feel. so here's the good thing about coming oh, yes. up with an idea that nobody has ever seen before. I'm really confused. It can be whatever you want it to be. I don't Could know. it be someone who's not even real? No, that is real. Make something else. Can it be someone who's not real? I'll be a unicorn. Yes, that's what I want you to do, is make up something nobody's ever seen before. Oh, wait, make up? No. 
I want you to make it up. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, so, like so ready? Go. Uh, owl Snowy owl? <laughs> no, an owl, an owl person. A baseball oh. owl. Because like, the body looks like a baseball, doesn't it? I do not. I didn't throw. Oh, wait, no. Yes, no, maybe so. I, I honestly don't know. know. So if it isn't turning out the way that you think it should, then either fix it or fix what you want it to be. Think about what you've drawn and see if you can change it. That's the beauty of making something up. I have two different it can be literally anything you want it to be, except for something that's already made. I have no clue what it is. Because that's not making something up. Right. All right, I'm going to give you guys about another minute. Yay. Now, what you know what unicorns poop out, rainbows? Yeah. Well, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Is it like a bunny dropping? <laughs> okay, let me do that one. That'd be actually kind of cute. Okay, that just sounds weird. Just me new. Ooh, oh, all right. That's it. I just put it Wait, we're done? Drawing the... Can I still draw one? You can keep drawing all. Um, so, Stella. Yes. What is yours? An owl person. An owl person? Yes. I was thinking about. A baseball about... owl? No, an owl person. I was thinking about Hedwig. Hedwig. Okay. okay. So, Harper, what'd you come up with? Uh, a bear that's a superhero. A bear that's a superhero? That's very cool. And I think a lot of us were hero. thinking about superheroes. Lo, what would you come up with? Um, an opera singer with a queen. An opera singer queen? Yeah. Cool. I have three, so. An opera queen? Yeah. yeah. I have three different types of things. Okay, what's the other ones? Um, it's a bunny slash pig slash horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunny bun pig. pig horse. <laughs> bun pig horse. Bun pig horse. Bun pig horse. <laughs> bun horse. <laughs> Bun for horse. Bun for horse. And then my favorite, the scribble. <laughs> the what? The scribble? The scribble and not hair. When the fish can have a hair. Alright. Oh, so, Lainey, what did you come up with? I made a billicorn, which is a bunny, and a D and I'm making a DJ unicorn llama. A DJ unicorn llama? Yes. That sounds like an awesome DJ name. Cool. DJ unilama. No, <laughs> so, Annabelle, what'd you come up with? A unicorn, a rainbow unicorn, and an awesome blue narwhal. Cool. And narwhals are real. So, yes, they are. So, here's mine. I called her Star Lady. <laughs> she kind of looks like she you. She was born with star like birthmarks around her eyes. Oh, that's so um, cool. And she has a pet cat. Yes, yeah, she has a cat. Which no. is amazing because I hate cats. She has a pet cat that was also born with star fur. And it's and, and it has octopus. And butts. she flies around the universe and saves dying stars. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. So, Mine flies there the is world. one last yeah. thing I want you guys to do. This is not something we're going to do in the meeting. This is something I want you guys to take home. And when we have our first meeting in the fall, I want you guys to tell me what it is you found. So what I want you to do also, is over the rest of the summer, very cool. over the rest of the summer, I want you to look at the women and girls in your life. And I want you to write down what their name is, what role it is they play, how is it they act in that role. So, if it's your mom, like, is she a good mom? Is she like, the worst no, mom she's ever? A awful. Um, does she need to be fired from being a mom? <laughs> I'm fired. You're fired, mom. Is it a role careful. that you would want to try? Yes. I like yes, no. And what value of the Girl Scout law do you think that person expresses? Yeah, seriously, I have a hundred baby dolls that I love to be the boss of. So, <laughs> she, she really if, does. If you. Find someone in your life that has a role and you write it down. Then I want you to go back to the Girl Scout Law. The it's, a, it's 
If you can't remember the Girl Scout law, you can Google it. Or you can, or you can have your mom message me and I'll tell her. Or you can um, in my room. <laughs> and figure out what part of the Girl Scout law it is that that person does in doing that role. All right? I want to thank you guys for coming and helping me. Do we have me. to do that? We have to do that? Well, I would like for you to. Because okay. if not, we're going to do it at a meeting. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably do it. So, thank you guys for helping me. I appreciate it. It was so fun to see you guys again. You're welcome. And I will see you. Going.